Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Atmos character of our world around us and this time uh, we will just refer again to current events, I mean farmers and craftsmen protests in Europe and the reaction of main politicians and people of uh, pseudo business and so on. Why I call pseudo business? Because I refer to the owners and uh, share uh, and share Oh, shares owners of the agricultural holdings that are uh, using and abusing natural resources and soils of Ukraine, we see that, uh, that the chair of the European Commission, Mrs. Ursula, is trying to do her best to uh, ensure that the uh, products done without any standards that are imposed on the farmers in European Union, that these products uh, produced in the facilities of uh, agro-holdings operating in Ukraine, which are mainly in hands of Western Europe, United States, and some of them of uh, local oligarch and Gulf countries, but especially here we I refer to German, Dutch and uh, also British agricultural holdings that are operating in Ukraine, these politicians are doing everything to ensure the flow of these agricultural products to European Union and they would like to really get rid of European farmers because they are used to life far above the, their, uh, their physical possibilities. So to live such life, one needs a lot of money. But this money can be uh, can be acquired only with uh, dishonest methods. And now we see how uh, European Union really works. Here I need to refer to some of my videos that I dedicated to European Union, and I'm telling you what European Union really is. So now we see that European Union is first of all a so uh, Western version of Soviet Union. Social, uh, that this is Union of the European Socialist Republics, plus this is servant, uh, this is a servant institution to the corporation owned by some people collaborating with main European Union politicians. So this is actually organized uh, mafia system. We also see that there is uh, a lot of effort to cover connection between Mrs. Orshula and Mr. Burla and this mysterious SMSs that even more mysteriously disappeared. I'm happy that people finally openly protest and these protests are growing. We should support them. And if we cannot support them physically, we should support them vocally. And we should support them also, by, as I mentioned already, by not interrupting protesting people. So it means we shouldn't repeat propaganda and we shouldn't say bad about protesters and we should spot uh, informers and agents and, pro and, and provokers who are uh, really there sent by governments and by corporations to weaken the outcome of the protest. If we do that, we will succeed. Now we are fighting for with them, with farmers and craftsmen, we are fighting for our life, we are fighting to avoid misfortunes, we are fighting to avoid starvation, we are fighting for our better future and for our kids if we have them, and we are fighting for world without another madhouse and disconnection like this old pseudo green economy that it's done only to uh, secure interests of corp European corporations mainly, which cannot uh, compete in the global markets with American, Chinese, Indian or even Russian uh, uh, companies because, same, because due to the fact that in Europe we have this welfare state disease and a lot of taxes and a lot of corruption, they are simply non-competitive. I mean European corporation, for instance, the motor industry companies from Germany. That's why they are trying their best to push for these electric vehicles, 
called hmm, called wrongly as cars. So we continue support for our protesters if we can. We protest with them and we spot informers, we spot pro spo spot provokers and support them as much as we can because we are fighting to avoid another genocide and another misfortune. We have to do it. This is duty of all good and normal people. All the best. Have a nice day. Bye.